This metallic painting makes me so happy. I won't say it's all metallics because I am swiping through it with regular black acrylic paint mixed with Australian Floetrol. And I decided to add a pop of color, even though it's neutral, I decided to add a bluish gray color to this one. But I'm primarily using gold and bronze and copper. And I knew that that palette would be beautiful with a black swipe, but I wanted to add just a little bit of a similar color, but something that would give enough contrast to the painting. Metallics always react really beautifully when you're swiping and swiping with black really makes the metallics pop in my opinion. I chose to do for Artie Gras some paintings that were neutral in palette. I had I think four neutral paintings and then I did some really super bright and colorful paintings. And I also of course did some blue paintings and the neutrals and the blues are what sold and you never really know because it's very personal to someone's home what they're going to purchase and what they love but i was very happy that i chose to branch out and do multiple color schemes for this theme of arty gras this year for this one even though i poured them in puddles i'm not going to wreck through I wanted this to be softer, so I'm just smoothing out the edges where the paints are mixing together, where they meet so that it blends a little bit more and there's not super harsh blocks of color. But I didn't want to actually create a ton of designs through this one. I wanted it to be soft, and just neutral and kind of easy on the eye. I didn't want there to be a ton of energy in this one coming from the extra design. So I chose not to wreck this painting. You normally don't see it on the videos, but I normally torch my paintings as I lay the paints down and then again, after I've stretched them out a little bit and then two or three times at the end. And this helps me to get rid of pinholes and it really helps the paints just level out. I'm not torching to get a specific cellular reaction or anything like that with the mixtures that I use nowadays. It's simply to pop all of those air bubbles. So I will stretch the paints out a little bit and then torch again, because as those layers of paint settle, more air bubbles will rise to the surface. I also like to tilt a little bit because it will help me see if there's anything in the painting from my paint cups so that I can get that out before it dries. I always look back at my videos and think, Molly, why are you so serious right now? When I'm talking with you and laughing, I'm having such a fun time, but I am concentrating so much when I'm in the studio by myself, trying to figure out what my next move is, what I want to do, do I like what the painting and what I've made. It's a completely different experience. So I appreciate you letting me sharing these videos with you over the past few weeks, even though I haven't been my bubbly self talking. I've enjoyed this creative process as well, so I thank you for letting me share this with you and for still showing up and being here. So I decided to swipe through with black and when you're swiping over metallics, they tend to sink down a little bit. The top swipe color sinks down a little bit. And I actually like that because I wanted this to be soft and I wanted the metallics to really shine through. So I wanted my lacing to not be as apparent as it is sometimes in my other paintings. I 
I'm torching my palette knife because I had just mixed up this batch of my swipe catalyst. And if you have air bubbles in it, it will leave these big elongated streaks as you're swiping through. And that may not be the design that you're going for. So you'll see me every now and again, torch the palette knife to pop any bubbles before I swipe. I knew that I wanted to do multiple swipes, but I again, didn't want this to be too busy with too many swipes. So I tried to reserve myself and not do as many as I usually do. It's so satisfying to see the cells pop up and when you stretch them out, they turn into lacing. It's just absolutely such a cool effect. I'm really loving this. I wish that I had ha had a little bit more gold, but I am very happy with the gray that I added in there. It added just enough contrast with the black swipe color, but not so much that it would overtake the painting. I knew that I wanted to swipe through that gold and get a little bit more lacing. And I'm still trying to decide where do I want this last swipe to be? I tilted my palette knife up just a little bit at the end to almost create a tail to the swipe so that I wouldn't have to carry all of that paint across. This one was large, it was 30 inch by 40 inch and it is heavy to tilt with all of that paint on there. It's got a stretcher bar underneath so that I can grab it and really control as I'm stretching the paint out. As I set it back down, I wasn't in love with that corner and so I knew that I would stretch quite a bit of the paint off of that side. And that is why I tend to use more paint than is needed for the canvas so that I can choose how my design will come out at the end. This one is just gonna need a few more tweaks to it and I think it is gonna be perfect. I really enjoyed the gray color that I added. I love that there are big blocks of the metallic color, the copper, the gold. I chose to leave silver out of this one because I wanted it to be a warmer palette and I thought the silver with the gray would have been too much. So now there's just a few finishing touches that I'm going to add and this is all about simulating motion. After I've swiped through I like to add these other lines and designs to draw the eye to certain places or to accentuate certain areas or maybe even to hide certain areas. And this final part of the painting process is really, in my opinion, what brings a painting together a lot of times and what makes it feel cohesive and what changes the composition to something that's pleasing to the eye. Not every painting requires this, and some people don't like it. And if you don't, that's totally okay. But I love these extra little added parts to it, and it's what individualizes it and makes it unique, in my opinion. I was really happy with this neutral color palette. And up close, the lacing 
so beautiful. And I can't wait for you to see how this one dries. Overall, really happy with this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for letting me share it with you. All right, here is another big one. This is, again, 30 by 40 inch. Man, oh man, it's one of my favorites. The gray with the gold and the black swipes. Oh, I love, love, love this one. Can see all the details in it. That gray, it's like a grayish blue. It just worked perfect. I love that little set of gold cells. It looks almost 3D in the center, even though that is completely flat. It's just the metallics. Oh, absolutely love this one. You can see that effect here again on the metallics. Crazy. I love it. Love, love, love it. All right. Hope that you've been enjoying these. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.